Yeah. So good evening. Uh, today I am presenting uh, one case of uh, long RCS CTO, pre-crux CTO with an ambiguous quotes, which we tackled with knuckle wiring and reverse cart. I'm Dr. Sharat, uh, interventional cardiologist from Medicover Hospitals, Hyderabad. So my patient is a 53-year-old male, status post PCI with the DAS2 LCX and LAD in 2006 for acute coronary syndrome and failed PCI during same sitting, failed RCA PCI. Uh, he presented with uh, acute inferior ST elevation MI and cardiogenic shock uh, a month before for which restunting was done to LCX and LAD which I will show now. So these are the angiogram pictures during uh, uh, pri primary PCI. So RCA is totally occluded so which we can witness here and uh, left circumflex is totally blocked. It's a stunt thrombosis and left anterior descending artery is also tightly stenosed. It's almost 70 to 80 percent lesion. So uh, during that acute event uh, LCX thrombus action was done and uh, re-stunted with the 3.5 and 28 millimeter stunt and this is the post stunt uh, result which is quite good uh, but two stunts jailed epicardial collateral and this is LED lesion which was uh, pre-dilated and uh, stunted with uh, 3 into 15 millimeters with a good result and uh, septals are also occluded by you know stunts jailed by two stunts so this is the anatomy of uh, uh, right coronary artery CTO so you can see so proximal cap is uh, good there is a clear entry point and the distal cap is almost at the crux and we can clearly see there is an ectasia of the vessel uh, immediately after the crux this is the ectasia and there are these are the two branches and into which branch these collaterals are entering, septal collaterals are entering is not clear due to predominant uh, epicardial collateral flow. And coming to the calcium, there is uh, calcium visible in this area and it is also angulated uh, segment. And course is not clear. So coming to the JCTO score, you can clearly see there is a clear entry point and there is a calcification and there is good angulation almost more than 90 degrees and the length is also more than 20 millimeters and it's a retrilation so a total of uh, four is the JCTO yeah and coming to the collaterals uh, present uh, uh, in this case there are two collaterals uh, one is epicardial collateral you can see it is dividing into two and joining at PLVB so the size is good so there are um, multiple loops inside the collateral but the origin is tightly stenosed and septal collaterals uh, you know the first septal collateral is actually cranial in uh, course uh, after origin so the entry point is a little bad but the exit is okay uh, but we are not able to make out uh, into which branch it is opening and second collateral the entry is uh, good, entry angle is good and also you know the exit angle but uh, into which branch it is opening is not clear. So coming to the wiring strategy uh, for this anatomy, so there is a clear cap and good distal target and unknown course of the vessel uh, till the crux. So and interventional collaterals are quite good. So uh, both uh, either retrograde or an anti-grade dissection re-entry can be attempted as there are no big uh, you know branches uh, in CTO. Uh, we opted for anti-grade dissection. So this is the anti-grade dissection and re-entry plan for this uh, patient. So the first point is uh, choosing a re-entry zone. So this is a clear re-entry zone uh, for this patient, uh, ectatic segment. So that is here. So we can re-enter here. There is a small branch, yeah, uh, which is too small. And uh, next is uh, dissection, where, where from you know we can dissect and where to end. That's a dissection plan. So 
uh, I planned uh, you know uh, dissection from this point that is uh, three to four millimeters you know after uh, uh, entry point so you start dissection here with a knuckle wire and once knuckle comes here that is pre crux four to five millimeter before crux then switch to bogey technique that is uh, push the microcatheter here and switch the wire to Gaia 2 and then advance till the re-entry zone for dry re-entry. So uh, this is a dissection plan and this is a re-entry plan, re-entry is with Stingray. And coming to the support for ADR, so we plan to take a, a amplitude integrated guide with a uh, uh, balloon trapping of microcatheter for adequate support for knuckle wire. So yeah, this is the ADR plan. And uh, during PCI, so this is a double dual injection which we gave. So which clearly show, delineates the anatomy. And you can see I uh, placed microcatheter that's cord share integrally into the uh, total occlusion segment and there is another wire into the side branch. So we did uh, trapping of microcatheter with uh, two, po I think three balloon, three into two all balloon. And then we took a, a filter XTR wire and knuckled it. Uh, but unfortunately that knuckle went into side branch again and again. So you can see then we widened the knuckles, uh, but despite wide knuckle knuckle only went into side branch you know which we can appreciate in uh, both rao and lao views so at this stage uh, we switched the strategy to retrograde and epicardial collateral uh, was tried first uh, but i couldn't wire epicardial collateral as the origin is tightly stenosed and it is jailed by two stunts here so then i switched to uh, septal collateral so first septal collateral uh, couldn't be wired so i went into second septal collateral so which is uh, a bit a good entry angle and also you know the exit angle and uh, used a cyan wire so with which we could cross uh, septal collateral so you can see here and see once uh, uh, yeah, uh, Caraval is advanced uh, to the cracks. So we took an injection to, to see the uh, distal RCA segment. So there is a good uh, little flow into distal RCA, but the wire uh, is getting, you know, looped into the ectatic segment. So that's when we started uh, retrograde uh, wire escalation. So initially I tried with Fielder XTR but uh, as this wire is floppy, it was just looping into the um, ectasia. So we uh, escalated to Gaia 2, uh, with, uh, which is more directable. So, and we directed Gaia wire into the uh, mid RCA. So it just went. So after retrograde wire uh, in uh, mid RCA, we escalated the uh, anti-grade wire to Gaia 2. And we can see, uh, uh, both the uh, wires in uh, LAO and RAO. See, uh, these wires are not converging. So I ch switched the retrograde wire to more flexible, but uh, similar tip load that is Pilot 150. But still, uh, both the wires are not uh, convergent. So that's when uh, we were a bit doubtful. See, though both the wires are uh, moving in, uh, you know, uh, are, uh, typically with the RCA motion so they are not convergent so uh, we thought of going ahead with uh, you know a retrograde knuckling as the course was a bit uh, unclear to for next step uh, this is uh, we use retrograde knuckling as I already failed in anti-grade knuckling in the beginning uh, uh, and where to start retrograde knuckle so it's uh, better to start you know before this loop uh, because that is what is causing confusion of course so start before loop and end 5 to 6 millimeter beyond the proximal cap so that is to make your reverse cut uh, more easier so this is the starting point and this is the end point of uh, you know 
uh, knuckling and this is the uh, reverse cart that's a conventional reverse cart so this is the plan uh, for retrograde knuckling and uh, re-entry so uh, we did retrograde knuckling with the pilot 50 wire you can see the micro catheter is just uh, getting advanced over the uh, knuckle and uh, further advancement of knuckle here and uh, we further advanced knuckle you know up to this point as planned you know four to five millimeter beyond the proximal cap so and uh, micro catheter is advanced and you can see here micro catheter is moving along the rca wire uh, but uh, if you see the anti-grade wire and you know um, retrograde micro catheter they are widely separated so but they are within the vessel architecture so which we can see by the movement of the wire so at this juncture we switch to conventional reverse card so this is the balloon you know with a 2.5 millimeter uh, 12 millimeter with a retrograde gaia 3 so gaia 3 is directed in both lao and rao views towards the balloon and uh, uh, yeah pushed uh, forward while retracting balloon so with which we entered into true lumen you can see here now the Gaia 2 is just entering the anti-grade guide. Yeah, it entered anti-grade guide. So we externalized wide and then dilated with a 1.25 mm balloon and did an IOS. So which showed uh, I am in subintimal uh, uh, immediately uh, before till immediately before crux. So though I knuckled from here. So my course was subintimal up to here. That means my uh, retrograde wire escalation to Gaia 2 actually went through subintimal from here. So immediately prior to the crux. So in entire area, I am in subintimal space. So you can see here also, this is a true lumen and this is a false lumen, but there is no footprint of knuckle here. But here you can see this is the knuckle footprint so there will be wide subintimal space and uh, you know narrow true lumen so and this is again at the um, re-entry that's a reverse cart area so you can see this is a true lumen and this is a side branch uh, wire and this is a RCA wire so and this is where you know uh, both the wires are in true lumen so we re-entered into true lumen so this is where exactly you know we re-entered into true lumen so and this is a final uh, result uh, for this case so after uh, uh, three stunts from crux to you know hostile rca so we achieved a good result and these are the final iOS minimum stunt areas so it's uh, uh, distally it's 5.4 mm square uh, and the proximally the minimum stunt area was 7.4 at the site of uh, you know calcium so to conclude um, ADR as first strategy can be used with a bailout uh, strategy in hand if failed integrated knuckle as dissection strategy can fail to progress in presence of side branches as in this case Consistent anti-grade retrograde wide divergence needs course confirmation for further continuation. Knuckling circumvents course ambiguity, but when knuckling is used, define start and end zones of knuckling along with re-entry strategy. It's reverse cart in retrograde or true lumen re-entry in anti-grade. Define your reverse card strategy before retrograde knuckling. Thank you.